and um, we make observations on these things. And talking about observations, I have my observation piece right here, right now. Are you all ready? You sitting down? You ready for this? It's titled, You're Not Perfect Either. Ladies and gentlemen, realizing your own imperfections is a humbling experience. When we, I, look in the mirror at the beginning of the day, I look deep into my eyes to reach my soul, and it's there where I'm honest with myself. The person in the mirror who is flawed with many imperfections, about to go out into the world hoping to hold his own and to be a good example to others. Holding my own has never really been an issue with me. I'm a survivor. But when it comes to leading by example, I fear that my many flaws seep out and at times offend or cause others to stumble in their attempts to be better persons. Because of that, I find it very hard for me to judge people. I may suggest, give opinion or observation, but who am I to judge? I need to take the plank out of my own eye before I try to take the speck out of somebody else's eye. To judge is only to put oneself in a position of greater judgment. Not only this is this natural law, but it's Christian guidance as well. I send out daily devotions knowing good and well that I can be a hypocrite on many things, but the Lord compels me to do it anyways. Satan wishes to neutralize me by guilt, and at times he wins. But even though at times I may feel or fail, God's word still gets out to affect others in a positive sense. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am flesh and blood, and as human as it gets, and make many mistakes. And because of that, I can relate with others who go through the same trials. And in a way that only God can do, he makes it all work out for his good measure. So in closing, let's remember this. Let's pull the plank from our own eyes before we reach out to pull the speck from others. Or in another way, judge and be judged.